I'm gonna start up a club, like a fight club, only instead of fighting, we'll eat cheeseburgers. Wait, why are we at McDonald's? I said I was gonna get some food, remember? Yeah, I remember that, but why specifically at McDonald's? It's because McDonald's was the nearest restaurant. It's because McDonald's is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Dude, you're over-exaggerating. It's just a fast food place. Just a fast food place. What do you mean? Do you know how long McDonald's has been around? You know what? There's no point in me arguing with you. Fine, Biden. Since I'm hungry, I don't have the energy to argue with you. All right, let's go ahead and order. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. All right, Biden. Well, what the hell? Oh, snap, Trump, we forgot to ask Biden what he wanted to eat. Do we really need to? He can order for himself when he gets out of the bathroom. But we should check on them anyway, since there isn't someone at the cash register right now. Okay, fine, but he better not have missed the toilet while using it. Hey, Biden, are you- Oh, hell no! Um, Obama. Obama, did you slip on the floor? Oh, stop! Yo, what the fuck is going on in that bathroom? Hey, can you guys keep it down over there? The kids can hear you. I don't give a fuck about no stupid ass kids. Hey, you want me to come over there and teach you a lesson you failed to pass in school? So you think you're tough, huh? Bring it! <laughs> this is what I think of your colors, douchebag! My shirt! You messing up my swag! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I landed in the back rooms. Biden! Obama, are you guys in here? Well, that's just great. They probably not in here. Did somebody call my name? Yes, it's me, Trump. I called you Sleepy Joe. Where are you? I can hear you, but I can't find you. I don't know where I'm at, Sleepy Joe. I guess I might have to just walk around until I find you. I'ma smack you, you stupid fuck! I'm gonna knock the last of your brain out of your thick skull, loser! <laughs> okay, apparently there's people fighting down here. Is this an office or something? It seems like the only thing here is just lights. Maybe I should try to look for Trump so we can find Obama. So this is the back rooms of McDonald's. I'm definitely shutting down this store. Whoa, what is going on over here? Cheap son of a sack me, friggin' coward! <laughs> Take that, you stupid broke bitch! So there's other people stuck here, too. Hey, Biden, we need to sue McDonald's. Oh, there you are, Obama. And wait, why do you want to sue McDonald's? We need to sue McDonald's because their bathroom has some type of teleportation device in it that sends us who their basement or whatever the hell this place is. This doesn't look like a basement. This looks like a normal office with nothing but lights in it. Biden, I'm not even going to explain how stupid you sound right now. Yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and find Trump. I heard him call my name, so that means we must be close to him. Told you, sucker! I ain't telling you how to get out of here! Do you know who you're talking to? I'm the motherfucking president of this country! You lost! Do you want me to build a wall around your house? Do you want me to stop a hole on your punk ass? Hey, we found Trump. Good. You guys found me, but I'm going to need some help with this dickhead over here. He knows the exit to this place, but he won't tell me where it is. Wait, why won't he tell you? Doesn't he want to get out of here too? I ain't telling no one who can't live up to my standards! Somebody please knock this narcissistic face ass out. Who threw that toaster? You just got toasted. Screed for is supposed to be in the streets, not the office. You're not built for that. So now you have been toasted and roasted. What are you doing here, Duke Nukem? I'm here to get everyone out of here. Just follow me. I know where the exit is. Okay, now how the hell am I supposed to open this door? Are we back at McDonald's? It seems like we are at McDonald's. Thanks, Duke Nukem. You're a credit to this country. I think we all should donate $15,000 to his bank account. We can't give Duke Nukem any money. We need to use that to buy lunch at McDonald's. Joe, you're so damn selfish. We are presidents of this damn country. So it doesn't even matter we throw away $15,000 from our bank account. We still can afford cheap-ass food since we're rich as hell, you dingus. At least I can afford to stay president. It was rigged! Can you both shut up and stop talking about the election? While you guys argue about the election, I'm gonna go back in the bag rooms to find more people to arrest you and to get my toaster. Why does this theme song plays even when he's not telling a joke? Because that shows how badass Duke Nukem really is. Well, let's go ahead and finally order some food. 
You ever been knocked unconscious, dorkwad? Have you even checked your food before you complain about it? I am not gonna stand for this! Okay. And? It's a burger! You ordered it! So shut your ass up and eat! A cheeseburger is supposed to have cheese! Eat my can, sucker! Ooh! Looks like someone done messed up! Hey, hold up, why are you grabbing me? Yeah, beat that guy up for me! Oh. Holy shit, he just yeeted that guy! That is one SOB you don't want to mess with. Jesus Christ, man, as long yeeting people makes the line go faster, you, I'm fine with it. Sleepy Joe stuttering again. Shut up, Orange Man. I want a cheeseburger! Or I want a fight! Okay, sir, I will tell the chefs to make you another cheeseburger. Just don't whoop my ass. The cashier be acting all tough, and now look at him. Scared like a little bitch. Donald, that is extremely disrespectful. That guy is just a child. Correction, a degenerate child, and also he's not even old enough to even work here. Biden, what have you been doing as president? Donald, that's none of your business. And before you accuse me for child labor, I didn't make this decision. You know what? I'm going to ask how much money he makes an hour. Hey, cashier, how much money do they pay you here for an hour? I'll say it's not too bad for my age. It's somewhere around $3 an hour. Man, that cop went full need for speed on his ass. Well, looks like the cheapskate finally has bars now. Just for saying that, I should punch you in the face. Let me guess, you just got out of jail. Oh man, he just hit the ginger. This is all the ginger is clapping back. Ow! How you like that, you shit sucking little fat? <laughs> Looks like somebody's going to get canceled on Twitter today. So does everyone here beat people over something stupid? I'm surprised nobody haven't beat you up. Consider you say stupid things all the time. Hey, can one of you guys can lend me $10? I forgot to bring my cash to get on the bus and I don't feel like walking. You ain't borrowing our money, you freak. Go get a real job like everyone else, you broke prick. You came here and made me lose my job. Then you go tell me to get a real one. You're a delusional, self-centered, old, crusty piece of shit. You know that? What I do know is that you lost your accent. Aren't you supposed to be Australian? Or you're just too hyper to speak in your own accent? Listen, dimwit, things change once in a while. Yeah, I can tell because you became the man of the house when your stepfather came to the crib. I'd rather become the man above my stepfather than step below at the election. Rig! I swear, if you guys don't stop talking about the election, I'm gonna slap the both of you. Yeah, whatever will Obama. This kid is all hyped up with his arguments. More hype and awake you will ever be. No matter how much I want to punch this kid in the face right now, that's still the truth. Screw you, Donald. I'm getting out of here. I ain't got time to be talking to half-decent presidents. Hey, at least we became presidents. What have you done? Been a cartoon character of a mediocre TV show. Donald, I'm going to stop you right there before you piss off five million people. Technically, Donald already pissed off five million people when he became... Biden, I swear, if you say anything political related, I'm leaving this group permanently. Obama, you can't leave the group. The three of us are always in it together. You just saying it because of the meme? What meme? I thought you didn't know what memes are. You know what? Forget about it, Donald. Let's go in the restaurant and order this time. I don't think we can go back in there after what just happened. Wait, why not? They already arrested the suspect, so that means the case is over. Joe, are you telling me that you don't remember there were people fighting in this restaurant and the bathroom sends people to the back rooms? And I see cops in the restaurant talking to one of the people who are fighting. Okay, ugly bastard, tell me what happened. Hey, I ain't ugly, you fat pig. But first of all, I'm just a casual, normal citizen obeying the law. Well, you don't seem to obey the laws of casual dressing according to your shirt. Oh, about that. I just dropped ketchup on my shirt a few minutes ago. Do I look stupid, you dumbass civilian? Your shirt don't even smell like ketchup. It smell like paint. And also, who the hell uses that much ketchup anyway? Who uses that much ketchup? I don't know. It might be the person you're talking to, idiot. No, you don't, because that's freaking paint, you stupid bitch-ass beta male crack whore. If you don't tell me what happened right now, I'll shoot your tits off and make up a reason later. Listen, man, I ain't no snitch, but since I rat out my friends to get out of my situation, most of the time I tell you. In fact, I'm snitching on two a-holes, so I don't give a damn what my crew says if they find out about it. One cheeseburger coming right up. I was going to ask you what happened in here. But I recognize you from the mental asylum place. Care to explain why you're not there? Hey, you guys want to go to Chick-fil-A? Yeah, Chick-fil-A got some good food. I think we should just cook food at our own home. Everyone around this part of town seems to be lunatics here. Ow! That hurt my face and my sunshade. You know what, Joe? You're right. This place is filled with lunatics. Let's get out of here. Boys, it looks like we found them. Now follow them. All right, boss.